when forces loyal to King John undermined Rochester Castle, it spelled doom for the rebels inside. Within days, they had surrendered. But the rebel barons weren't done yet. Their ally, Prince Louis of France, had sent an invasion force to help the barons overthrow King John. Then in late 1216, the king fell ill with dysentery and died. His son, just nine years old, was crowned King Henry III. It was now up to the young king's regent, the 70-year-old legendary knight William Marshall, to protect the crown. He faced a near impossible challenge. England was crumbling. Rebels were taking town after town. But William Marshall bided his time and prepared to defeat the rebels. Then in May 1217, he got the chance that he'd been waiting for. William discovered that the rebels planned to simultaneously besiege both Dover Castle and Lincoln Castle. With rebel forces split and weakened, William Marshall led his royalist army to Lincoln. The castle on one side of the city was still controlled by royalists, under its formidable constable, Lady Nicola de la Haye. But the streets of the city were under rebel control. On May 20th, 1217, the Royalist Relief Force, led by William Marshall, arrived to retake the rebel-controlled city. The future of England rode on the success of this mission. Troops loyal to the king held the castle at Lincoln, while outside, rebels controlled the city. The defenders had to hold the castle until reinforcements arrived, under the command of the king's knight, William Marshall. See they to work, yeah, yeah. So with the head. But end they so ahead. Do they, mate? 
Quart of serpent shattered. Quart of serpent shattered. Yeah, fe mayor, but. Something to Shetan. Yara on to a marker. And a fresh marker. Quark to the boss. Is she'll do that list. Water is milk for Matera. The King's Knight William Marshall arrived with his forces. While a hard battle remained, there was now hope for the young King's army. 
In order to liberate the city surrounding the castle, William Marshall commanded the king's men to destroy the military buildings belonging to the rebels. William Marshall's forces were welcomed in Stowe, a nearby town loyal to the king.
Ming's men tore through the rebel fortifications, diminishing the enemy's military presence. The castle now faced a new attack from the rebels' French allies. The king's army had almost regained control of the city. The king's army raised the last of the rebels' military buildings but the French siege continued. If the King's men hoped to lift the French siege, they would need to destroy the enemy forts on the outskirts of Lincoln. men uncovered one of the French forces' siege camps near Lincoln. Stand in the 
king's army tore through the French fort, weakening the enemy siege.
William Marshall and Nicola de la Haye had saved the city, and with it, the kingdom.
William Marshall's success in retaking Lincoln was an overwhelming victory for the Royalists. The rebel barons had been defeated and their French allies driven out of England altogether. William Marshall now focused on creating a stable kingdom for the young King Henry III. To maintain the backing of the rebels, in 1217, a royal seal of approval was given to a reissued Magna Carta, limiting the power of the monarchy. Many barons held lands in both England and Normandy. But now they faced a choice. On which side of the channel would they make their home? Many chose England. The cross-channel kingdom was over, establishing a clear English identity. But the impact of the Normans on England's evolution is still felt today. Almost a thousand years later, the surviving Norman castles and cathedrals still dominate the landscape. In the midst of the modern city, William the Conqueror's fortress, the Tower of London, remains a powerful reminder of their legacy. But it's the unseen influence of the Normans that endures. The Norman invasion changed the English language and established the foundations of modern parliament and governance. And it's all because one man, William the Conqueror, claimed the English crown that he believed by rights was his. The Normans conquered a country and changed the course of England forever.